thermodynamic process what is process process actually means it is a transformation of a system from one state to another through some path that is called process so what is thermodynamic process so it is a process which brings about the changes in the state of the system so when anything change takes place in the system that is called a thermodynamic process so it is further uh, classified into different types depending upon the conditions under which the changes are brought about so we we'll study those conditions those classifications so one uh, classification is called as isothermal process so it takes place at constant temperatures the temperature must be constant then this process takes place means transformation will take place at constant temperature so it is carried out in thermostate that is, it is a device where temperature can be regulated means uh, that is the heat can flow from the system to surrounding heat can flowing from the system to the surrounding or from surrounding to the systems in order to keep the temperature of the system constant so uh, in during the process temperature change temperature should be zero and heat can uh, can flow from system to surrounding or surrounding to system so this is called as the isothermal process uh, next is adiabatic process so in this process this is carried out in such a manner that the heat can flow from system to surrounding heat can flow from system to surrounding or vice versa that is the system is completely insulated from the surrounding okay means there is no heat exchange means it is a uh, he is the uh, inside the system some surroundings are there so inside the heat is heat is uh, flowing from the surrounding but it is not going outside the system what i mean to say that is suppose this is the uh, one uh, vessel so inside uh, this is the heat so heat can flow from this area this area it is not going outside the system so this this surrounding is called as the heat means inside there is no change of heat take place means change of heat will be here. this heat is not coming outside means around the surrounding heat is flowing from this from this so inside this system is completely insulated from the surrounding like this one so this surrounding is as inside the heat is flowing from any part so this is called the adiabatic process in which what where temperature can change but inside the system can change so this suppose this temperature is t1 so this will be your t2 so there is difference of temperature inside the system not outside so this system is completely insulated from the sun so there is no heat exchange heat exchange is not take place but heat change take place inside the system uh, that our third process isochoric so in such a process in which the volume of the system remain unchanged mean delta v is zero I mean there is no change in volume and it is carried out in system having a rigid boundaries so volume is will be zero so inside one volume the process will take place isobaric process a process in which the pressure of the system remain constant I mean delta p is zero I mean all the changes are taking place in the laboratory under normal conditions are isobaric so whatever we are actually doing process that is called isobaric process so let us see this uh, uh, pressure volume diagram we can understand this uh, full process so this is a graphical representation of the ideal gases how this process takes place under ideal condition so if you take this pressure volume so this is the isobaric process means you can see the pressure 1 to 2 the process going from 1 to 2 this is constant this isocolic so this is in this condition volume is constant iso is same calling the volume so volume constant from 1 to 2 this is initial this is the final state so volume is constant but pressure is changing isothermal so isothermal means temperature is constant so this graph is like this one so 1 to 2 process going on under t temperature this process under different temperature this process under different temperature. but uh, the temperature for this process is constant this is constant so all these are different temperature t1 t2 t3 they are the different temperatures but process will be constant but in adiabatic you can see here uh, so this process going from this to this place this is the initial process this is the final process so temperature change take place but inside the system surrounding inside the system will be temperature will be changing so if you combine all this process you will get this one so this is the pressure volume of the graphical representation of the ideal gas so this is the isochoric, this is the isobaric, this is the isothermal and this is the adiabatic. AD is adiabatic, AC is isothermal, AB is isobaric and AE is the isochoric. So this graph is written like this one. Or there is another graphical representation of this graph. So this is the isothermal, we can write this is the isobaric, this is the isochoric. Or we can write this is the isothermal or this is the adiabatic or we can write this is the isothermal or this is the adiabatic we can if you shift this to this one so the graph will become like this one
So these are the different type of process or rep representation of the four process. Now next is our cyclic process. So a process in which the initial and final state of the system are same. Means after uh, from going uh, from the initial state when we reach to final state we are achieving the same things and the state function of a system do not change during the cyclic process. So it is a process in which the system returns to the original state after undergoing the series of changes. After going any series of process when the achieving the initial state so that process becomes a cyclic process. So let us see the graphical representation of the cyclic process. So these are different type of pressure volume diagram. So this is a pressure volume. So A to B, B to C and C to A. So the initial process we have started and we are reaching to this point. We can see from this is pressure volume, different type of graphs are there. So A to B, B to C, C to A. So here we can see, so this is your uh, A to uh, B, again B to C and C to D and D to A. So this is your again pressure volume. So A to B, so uh, this is a 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 1. So we are going to again initial position. Similarly, there are lots of graphs that we can represent. You can see in your, uh, uh, we can derive. So this pressure volume, we can grab this type of graph also. A to B, B to C, C to D, D to A. Volume temperature, if you take volume temperature graph, can be written like this one, A to, so this is B to A, A to D, D to C, C to B. In volume temperature, we can gra draw graph like this also, A, B, C, D. We can draw anything graph. And if you take pressure temperature, we can draw a graph like this one also. Pressure temperature, we can draw a graph like this one. This is the cyclic, we can draw this one type, this type graph also. This type graph also, A to B, B to C, C to A, and this type graph also. So any type can be graph, but it should be closed one. So that is called as the cyclic process. So in the above examples, during process, the system returns to the original state A after successing changes. Suppose A to B, B to C, C to A. So A, the pressure volume T1 is different. B, P to B1, T2 is different. This is the, your V2. Okay, and again after C, P3, V3 and T3. So when again reaching to A, so it becomes P1, V1, T1. So value of internal energy and the enthalpy change for the cyclic process is zero. So we'll discuss what is internal energy, what is enthalpy change in the coming lectures. Now next uh, process is our reversible process and irreversible process. So what is reversible process? The, this process carried out infinitesimally uh, slowly in such a manner that the system remains almost in a state of equilibrium at every stage. So almost state of equilibrium means the system and surrounding process have equal feasibility in both directions. Means what? So from this diagram we can understand the process conducted in the infinite number of steps. So every step there is a state of equilibrium. But it, if you it can be conducted in infinite number. The step number of steps is not finite. It is an unlimited number of steps. And opposite force is only infinitesimally smaller than the driving force. Let us understand this example. Suppose this is our container which contains piston. So this is the one piles of sand. So you throw one uh, grains of sand on this uh, piston. What will happen? So due to some force, it will go down. So that force is infinitesimally very small. So due to that force, it will go down slowly. And the external force is again, this is external force is nothing but the driving force. Sand is a driving force. And inside the gas is giving some force. So this is the initial state is equilibrium. So after throwing the sand grains, it will disturb, but again it will achieve equilibrium very slowly. Again, you drop one more grain. You can see there is a little change you cannot see through your eyes, but change will be there. That is called uh, quasi-state change. That is called as the quasi-state change. It means very slow change. Quasi-static change. So you can see the pressure of the external is, external pressure is equal to the pressure of the gas. Again, you throw one more sand, you will face the same situation. So it will put again infin infinitesimally small uh, change in this system, in this uh, volume. So again, after this uh, force, again, uh, external pressure is equal to uh, pressure of the gas. So this is almost uh, we can say every, every state of equilibrium is uh, at every stage the state of equilibrium is remains constant. So it is observed that when external pressure is infinitesimally lessen or greater than the pressure of the gas in system. Lessen means uh, from this pressure. It can be also as pressure. It can go you, uh, up also down also. Means uh, for up what will happen? You have to put some 
uh, sand over the piston here. So when you pick one sand, it will go up. When you pick one sand, it will go up. But you, if you throwing sand on this one by one, so volume uh, compression will take place. If you taking out a span from here, which is already present, it will expansion will take place. So it can be possible lesser or greater than the pressure of the gas in system. But in this case, the process can be expansion or uh, compression during this system. In this case, it is compression. So it is carried out in a large number of stages, in finite number of stages and almost under equilibrium conditions. So every stage is almost equilibrium conditions, which is very close to the reversible process. So in fact, it will take infinite time to complete. So it will, time will also take infinite. It's not like the finite time. It takes your infinite time. So hence, reversible process are ideal process and this process cannot be realized in actual practice. The process is so slow, this uh, uh, large number of states means this process is so slow that the system and surroundings are always in equilibrium. This is one of the important points during this topic. So after reversal process, next is irreversible process. So in this what happens, equilibrium is not attained between system and surrounding. In this case, equilibrium is not attained between system and and changes cannot be reversed by a small changes in variable. So let's see. So this process is not carried out in fine system. No, it is carried out rapidly, means one step or two steps. So that the successive steps of the direct process, previous was the direct process, cannot be traced out without the help of external agencies we require uh, some external agency to get the equilibrium which is very difficult so under this all naturally occurring process are called as the irreversible process that is unidirectional for example flow of water down the hill if water is flowing down the hill that is the irreversible process flow of heat from a uh, hot end of the iron bar so this is a hot end this is a hot end and this is a cold end so if you if you uh, hot this end what will happen this particle will throw heat one by one like this one so conduction heat will take particle to particle which is adjacent to each other so it is taking long time okay so it will uh, then it will uh, this cold end will again convert into hot end so this is other th thermodynamically reversible this is because they are throwing heat one by one okay if you cool it then again it will go back like this one so this is the flow of heat from the hill. So e water is flowing from the hill to downward direction. This is the irreversible process. Okay. So this is uh, one diagram illustration. You can see here. This is the pressure of the gas. Some sand is there. So now if you remove sand particles. Okay. One by one sand particles by infinite finite number of steps. What will happen? So if you infinite. So this volume and uh, expansion will take place. That is called reversible expansion. But it will take long time. Now if you add from this sand. Already sand is there. If you add it, so compression will take place. So if you add one by one sand, so after infinite number of steps, what will happen? This volume will decrease. But same you want it one steps. So you just remove sand. So if you remove sand immediately, what will happen? This will achieve from this to this one immediately. This is the final state. This is the initial state. Like if you add some more sand in one step, so definitely it will go suddenly from this step to this down then it will again occur in equilibrium. Okay, so this is called the irreversible compression and this is called as the irreversible expansion. Means they ha does not have a tendency to go back. Means you won't get the similar state of equilibrium. So, so in a state of reversal process, a system uh, departs from equilibrium only by infinitesimally small value. And the value is very, very small and at every instant, the systems remain virtually in the state of equilibrium, which is not possible with these two irreversible expansion or compression under one steps. Now we will uh, distinguish between the reversible or irreversible process. So this is called as the reversible, also called as a quasi-static process. So I have drawn the diagram. So initially, this is the equilibrium position was this much. This is... So after the driving forces, sand, if you throw some sand or something, so it will go down this step by small dp. So again, it will go by this small dp dash, dp double dash. So this is the change in volume it take place. So in this case, what happened? external pressure almost equal to pressure of the gas. Or we can say uh, external pressure is more than the pressure of gas by the dp value. This is the infinite decimal, very small value almost so almost this will be equal to each other but in irreversible process external pressure is more than the pressure of the gas 
so when you remove keep pressure it will go from initial to final so we are not counting the in between this is the one step so in this this process is all called as the irreversible process it can be one or few steps you can go from this point to this point so in this case external pressure will be always greater than the pressure of the gas so both are it is reversible compression this is the irreversible compression so now let's see the difference it is completed in infinite number of steps and takes infinite time for completion so this process is called as the ideal process but this process completed in finite time this completed in finite time so this process is spontaneous process it is imaginary it assumes presence of weightless and frictionless piston which cannot be realized in actual practice but it is real and can form, perform uh, work actually so this process is natural in particular conditions a particular direction under given set of condition that is the pressure volume or temperature in this uh, the system is in equilibrium with the surrounding in all stages in every stage uh, the system will be equilibrium but this is attained only in initial and final stage initial stage will be equilibrium final stage will be equilibrium in between no stage will be equilibrium so in this process the opposing force and driving force differ only by infinitesimally small magnitude that is p external by minus p pressure of the gas is equal to dp this is a small value but in this process there is a large difference between the driving and opposing force so external pressure is always constant so press external pressure minus opposing or resisting force is the value is large difference it is extremely slow to occur very slow we have we have discussed also but it is uh, occurs in measurable rate so this rate can be measurable in the irreversible process the rate can be measurable here in this here uh, the work obtained is maximum but in this case work is not maximum it is always lesser than the reversal process we can say work done of reversible irreversible work done is irreversible is always lesser than work done of reversible process we will derive this equation after this lectures it can be brought back to initial states we can get initial state without uh, producing any permanent effect in the adjacent surrounding I mean it follows the reversible path but it cannot be brought back to the initial state without uh, avoiding a permanent change in the surrounding so this path is irreversible path so these are the major difference between the reversible and irreversible process or quasi static process and irreversible process